good parents coming back with some college knowledge, some real good information for you to know, especially because I know if your child is a high school senior, they're using this time to decide what college they should go to. So let's talk about the difference between private colleges and public colleges and universities. So private colleges are gonna have a smaller student body. The admission standards are gonna be a lot tighter, a lot more selective. They're not gonna have as much to do on campus in terms of activities and, and events for students, but they are gonna have a lot more specialized programs. And if you're going to a private college, you're probably going because of the prestige of the college or university. Public colleges and universities are gonna have looser admission standards, bigger student body, more to do on campus, more events, more clubs to join. Classroom sizes are definitely gonna be much, much bigger. Um, and they're gonna have a lot more wider selection of majors. Now the cost can vary. You can have some public institutions that are just as expensive uh, as private institutions, but at the end of the day, you're still making these decisions based on the best fit for your child. The best fit for your child. So make sure you save this and share it with another parent. What's good, college students? Here's another scholarship source for you. Small and local businesses. They are gold mines sometimes when it comes to finding scholarships. Just look on your block, on your street, in your city, and I know this is gonna, I know this is gonna sound like, oh, this is gonna take all day, but you'll be surprised what you find. Don't hesitate to go and walk from business to business or drive from business to business and see if you can speak with the owner, speak with the manager, and ask them if they have a scholarship for college students. Some of these small and local business owners, they grew up in your community. They want to give back, and you know what I'm about to say if you've been watching the videos. If they don't offer one, talk to them about how they might be able to start one. So don't sleep on small and local businesses. One way to find it, if there are events, big events that happen in your city, the sponsors of those events usually have money. So college students, go ahead, save this reel, add it to your college success toolbox, and go ahead and share it with another college student. What's good, students, college students? Here's a tip for y'all. Stay in your lane. Sometimes a lot of the negativity, a lot of the things you're experiencing in your life are caused because you are minding other people's business. Mind the business that pays you. Stay out of other people's business. Focus on you. The way I think is I have, my goals are too ambitious to be worried about what other people are doing, what other people are saying, even if it's about me. That does nothing and impacts me in no way. It doesn't help me to get closer to my goals because I'm concerned about what somebody thinks or what someone is saying. Stay in your lane. Carve out your own lane. Carve out your own path. And be so focused on hitting your own goals and developing and growing yourself that you don't have time for anybody else. In the comments, I want you to put what's that one thing you're going to go ahead and focus on in 2023?